Welcome to the Smiles Are Wild channel brought to you by Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. My name is Amy Morgan. We will be bringing you fun and educational videos weekly to help you take better care of your child's oral health care needs at home and on the go. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to see all of our new videos. And remember, it doesn't really matter how you take care of your teeth as long as you take care of them from the beginning. So today we want to talk a little bit about World Kindness Day. So every year it's celebrated on November the 13th. And we have a saying here at PDA and O, and it's actually a hashtag that we try to use, which is PDAO kindness every day. So we try and strive to just be nice humans. And it's not necessarily difficult, but sometimes just in the throes of our day, we can really get caught up in our own you know, the problems or the schedules or the things that are going on with the kids and we forget to be kind to others as well as ourselves. So tomorrow will be a really good reminder for everyone to just be kind to each other. So we have a couple of ways that you can do that. So one, we want to help you do that. So I'm going to go through a list, but what we do when we do our random acts of kindness and we do them all the time. Um, so I'll be driving through, I'll buy people's coffee, I'll um, buy people's groceries in the grocery store. Um, and these are all things that are done by our office, not me as an individual. I do my own thing, but the things I'm talking about today are things that we've done as an office. Um, you can also just simply, you know, I always hold the door for people. I say hi to people in the grocery store. Um, with social distancing going on, some of these things are a little bit more difficult. But just think about that holding the door as an example, especially now with what's going on, is that if you're holding the door, that means one less person is touching the door. So you're you're being kind by doing that. You're also keeping the person that you're holding the door from from um, having to touch it um, as well. So you're not spreading extra germs, things like that. You can you know open the door with your elbow, whatever. Um, but that's just one small way you can do that. Now another way you can do this is to um, do certain things out in the community. I know we have a family who actually, to correlate here, they participate in our pumpkin hunt every year and um, they have started doing random gift cards. So they'll go buy gift cards. I think this year they did seven brew and they'll just place them throughout the community. And as people find them, it's just a kind thing for them to do for people in general in our community. Um, when I buy coffee for people, I have these in my car. These are our random acts of kindness cards. And so they basically just tell you, um, they would tell the person who you're doing the random act of kindness for just that, um, that you're doing this and that you've been the recipient of a random act of kindness. Join us, do something kind and unexpected for someone and leave this card when you do. And you can use our hashtag if you wanna do that. So we have these um, in our office. So I have some in Fayetteville and some in Bentonville. So if you are um, interested in doing something for World Kindness Day, these will be available for you to pick up. We can give you however many you need. If you want to come by and pick these up today, then comment below um, with how many you want and which location you would prefer to pick those up in. Um, I think as long as I have them in by noon or one, I should be able to get them to the Fayetteville location by tomorrow morning. Um, and there may be some extras there as well. But if you are interested, go ahead and comment. Let us know how many of these you are wanting. And um, we'll be happy to have those ready for you to pick up. With social distancing, you'll probably have to call the office when you get to the parking lot. But we are happy to help with that. So again, if you're out wanting to do some random acts of kindness for World Kindness Day, you can let us know if you want these cards in the comments. Um, so just real quickly, I'm um, just going to go through a list. Um, some of the things that we've done, plus some of the things that I've found just on various posts on the Internet. You can definitely go and Google World Kindness Day and it gives you like a ton of articles on how you can do this. Um, like I said earlier, one of the things that we do or that I tend to do a lot, especially on the practices behalf, is to buy coffee for the person behind us or the meal for the person behind us. Um, so when you're in line at your local coffee shop or your local fast food restaurant and you would just say, I want to pay for the person behind me. And then the hope is that that train continues. So then that person would pay for them. Now that can't always happen. And sometimes we get stuck in that situation where we only have the cash on us for that particular thing. And that's totally fine. Do not feel guilty for that. Okay. Um, but pass it on when you can. 
So then number two, one thing that I liked, and actually my husband has started doing this for me randomly, is that every now and again, he will just Venmo me some cash, even though we share cash, it still feels good to be thought of. Um, and he'll just say, hey, grab a coffee today and I hope you have a great day. So you can do this for your significant other, you could do this for your best friend, for your um, parents, anything. You can use a simple um, app on your phone. So you can use a Venmo cash app if you have Apple Pay. There are several ways to do this and you can send it directly to their phone and just say, hey, I hope you have a great day today. Enjoy a coffee on me or enjoy lunch on me, you know, something like that. And that's just a really quick, simple way to do that. Um, you can also do something as simple as sending a text. So, you know, send your mom a text and tell her today how awesome she is or how you remember something about your childhood when she was great to you. Um, you know, your dad, your grandparents, um, your best friend, how were they there for you? You know, just send some words of encouragement. Um, it doesn't have to be anything long and drawn out or thought out. Just as simple, like I'm thinking of you, um, I'm praying for you, you know, any of those things would... Um, definitely bring a smile to anyone's face. So that's another way you can do that. Um, I already went through the open the doors um, for people. And again, in the days of social distancing and with COVID, um, I feel like that's a really good one. Um, let's see, it also says to buy a stranger a cup of coffee. So let's say you're not in the driving, the drive-through and you're just inside um, the store, you know, offer to pay for somebody's food behind you, whatever. Um, Another way we can do this and stay socially distanced is to make a post. So make a post on your social media. If you're watching this right now, you're watching us live on Facebook, which means you have a Facebook account. So go and make a post today talking about how you're thankful for your family, your friends, your significant other. Just do something kind for someone. People love to see, you know, people thanking them for things. So that's cool. And then one thing that I did today because I cheated and I did some research um, is I wore my cardigan today. So it says on the 13th that you should wear a cardigan in honor of Mr. Rogers. So he was a very kind human. Um, so today I did wear my cardigan for that. It also says to cook dinner for a friend. And this kind of wraps back around um, to the sending the Venmo cash app or whatever. You could also send money for their family to eat that night. So buy them pizza or something like that. Um, just if you, especially if you know they're going through a hard time, but also just in general, like a, Hey, I'm thinking about you guys. We want to provide dinner for you tonight and just cash up them the money. Okay. Um, let's see, bake something for your neighbors. So if any of you are working from home and you have the time or you're a stay at home mom anyway, or stay at home dad, um, you can just, you know, cook a cake for your neighbors or, you know, just kind of get out, get involved and be kind to one another. One of the most important things I want to make sure a lot of us on here are parents and we want to make sure that you are also being kind to yourself. So we always are constantly doing things for others and that is wonderful and it's generous, but we also have to remember that being kind to ourselves and loving ourselves will let us continue to be able to be kind and love on other people. So um, that's World Kindness Day. Again, that's going to be tomorrow, Friday, November the 13th. Get out, do something nice for someone in your community, in your family. Um, and if you have any comments or if you do do this, come back here and let us know that you, what you did. You know, give us some ideas. If you have any new ideas, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and go visit us on smilesorwild.com.